Hey guys, today I just want to do a review of iOS 7 Beta 3 on the iPhone 4. Just so you can see some of the differences because there are quite a few of quite a few differences compared to the 4S and the 5. So we'll just start off by when you swipe up and go to the notification center or not the notification center to the settings tab on the bottom you'll notice that it is kind of transparent but not really on the 4S and the 5 it is much more transparent and looks a lot nicer same with when you scroll down to the actual notification center sorry about the blurriness can't really get it to focus for some reason but you'll notice that it is transparent but again not as transparent it's not a huge thing but it is kind of it would be nice let's see if, when we go into the weather okay oh, it was just showing rain but it's not animated at all which really sucks because it looks awesome on the uh, oh, there we go it looks awesome on the uh, 4S and the 5 how animated it is and everything I really wish it was but unfortunately it is not maybe they'll change it I highly doubt it though oh I really wish this would focus let's see uh, Skype still does not work uh, there are a few other apps that do not work on it that's no big deal though let's see some of the other things um... where are we at? Oh, yeah, you can notice with this this would be more all the um... where the blue is square would be transparent on the 4S and 5 voice memos they change this up just a little bit not too dramatically Recording paused. Whatever. Now I'm going to show you the uh, lock screen. It's going to be horrible at first. No, we're not. Oh, look at that. Actually brings up the uh, voice recording, which is pretty cool. I didn't even know it did that. Oh, went away. So yeah, it brings up what you were just doing, which is neat. Because when you're playing music, it'll actually bring it up on there. Let's see the settings. Let's see, yeah, I can't really tell. Can't really get in there that well. But you can see, like, if you look at where it says airplane mode, you can't. You can barely make it out that under where the settings tab is. You know, it, it's transparent. Again, 4S and 5, much more transparent. And there, when you move the screen. You know, it doesn't do that cool parallax thing or whatever. I'm not really sure what it's called. But where the background moves behind your apps, it doesn't do that on the 4. But besides that, it's great. Speed is not an issue. Uh, app support is not really an issue except for Skype for some reason. Everything works great except for some of the animations, which really isn't a problem. With the new Beta 3, it was all about bug fixes. So like with the messaging, they fixed all of the bug. They fixed not all, but most of the bug fixes with that. When you go to download an app, let's see. Let's just go. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let's get rid of this one. Just delete. When you go to download an app, the animation did change on it a little bit. Oh my god, recording thing, go away. There we go. Maybe we'll, alright, now it's gone. Alright. So when you go to download an app, the animation did change on it. Which is pretty cool. So we'll go download uh, Force Flyer, app of the week. So hit download. 
And then, hopefully, it works earlier. It wasn't really letting me download anything. And, we'll wait a second. All right, it started. And it brings up a cool circle loader, which I like a lot. Let me get a little bit closer in on that. We'll uh, give it a second, let it load. I don't know why it takes so long. This game is small. But all the games work great on it. I don't have any issues with any of the great any of the games. Every now and then, you know, when if I accidentally turn my phone side sideways while I'm online or something like that, while I'm in Safari, and I go sh turn it uh, right back. It messes up just a little bit. Looks kind of weird, glitches, but that's no biggie. And then it does the final installing. And. and okay. And I'll just take another second. What else can I say about it? Oh. Up at the top, where it has to have you, you have your signal. Oh, and there we go. And it's done. I love how when it finishes, the circle expands and fills up the whole app. You'll notice up at the top here, where you have your time and your signal and your battery, that is a little bit bigger now, which is nice. Makes it a little easier to see. Uh, let's just go and uh, go into our wallpaper. I do have the standard wallpapers on right now. Let's go, uh, let's pick a different one. How about this one? You click on it. And I don't know why it says loading uh, when it's already loaded. Not really sure what the point of that is. But, um, it says it. So we'll just go ahead and use hit set. And we'll set this one as our lock screen. And there you go. It's set. So let's check it out. And another thing I like a lot. All right. There we go. Let me refocus. Is when you unlock it, the apps kind of like seem like they're coming from behind you. It's pretty neat. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You know, if you want to download it, I would highly recommend it. You can get it for free. You don't actually have to be a developer, so don't fall for that. And there's no way of breaking your device or anything, so don't worry. But this is on the 4, as I said, and I love it. I've had my iPhone 4 for over a year now, and I would like to upgrade to the 5, but until then, not really a big deal, not worried about it. Alright, well that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, thumbs up, and you guys have a good one.